Today we looked at the area of a trapezoid and a parallelogram. And the shape that we're showing on the screen right now is a trapezoid. And it's distinct in that it has two parallel lines, but yet the other two lines that are attached to it are not parallel. And so we have a formula that we used anytime we have a trapezoid. We have one there, we have one here. Notice in this instance I have one that is a vertical line with one that has a slant, whereas over here I have two that are both slanting inwards. Both of them are trapezoids. We'll look at a parallelogram after we've worked through this problem together. And so our formula for a trapezoid was one half height times base one plus base two. And we get the base one and the base two from the measures of our parallel lines. So here I have a 10 and a six. And it really doesn't matter what order because addition is commutative, so either order works. It can be six plus 10 or it can be 10 plus six. Either way, I'm gonna get 16 for my answer. So A equals one half <clears throat> times my height, which was indicated here as three, times 10 plus six is 16. And so when I multiply my fractions, I will multiply straight across. Three times 16 equals 48. Two times one times one is two. <clears throat> And so my area for this trapezoid is A equals 24 meters squared. Now again, number one is a trapezoid. Number two is an example of a differently shaped trapezoid. Now we're going to look at number three, which is not a trapezoid. This is a parallelogram. Parallelogram is distinctive in that it has parallel lines on both of its opposites. So my left and right line are parallel to each other. My top and bottom line are parallel to each other. And our formula for our parallelogram, as we discussed in class, is area equals length times width. Just like as if it was a rectangle itself. <laughs> so I plug in those numbers into the equation. Area equals 18.5 times 32. Now, I have the luxury of being able to use a calculator. One, because I'm the teacher. And two, because I'm putting a key together to help you get the correct answer. By now you should be able to multiply decimals, so if you make a little mistake, go back and practice it again until you get it correct. So my area when I multiply 18.5 times 32 is 592, and we will call this feet squared. Hopefully that gives you a good quick review of finding the area of a trapezoid and parallelogram.